hi guys welcome back to my channel so i'm starting off with my face already primed and foundation on i'm mixing two of my favorite foundations my dior skin forever and my estee lauder double wear i highly recommend this for oily to combination skin now i'm taking my mac pro long wear concealer in nc20 i believe and a flathead small concealer brush and i am applying the concealer right under my eyes in a triangular shape going upwards towards my hairline and to my ear keeping this right above where my cheekbone is you don't have to use as much concealer if you don't want to. It's up to your preference. I personally am because I'm trying to conceal the designer bags under my eyes. And now I'm also bringing this along the bridge of my nose to accentuate and illuminate these features. And right along the cupid's bow and then under the lip and on the chin. So if you're wondering about the scratch on my face, I got it from my cat. But I'm not going to let it stop me from filming and I'm just going to make it look pretty. So now I'm taking my damp beauty blender, blending out all the concealer, bringing it up to my forehead a little, making sure I get it really blended out under my eye. And you're going to want to take the beauty blender and start to blend it towards your hairline to the top of the ear, making sure that you get it really nice and blended on the cheekbones so that it blends well into the foundation and looks really natural. Now I'm going to take this same damp beauty blender and dip it into my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, setting all the areas that we just put the concealer. Um, this is not baking by any means, I'm just setting it. Now I'm going to take my fluffy Real Techniques face brush and I am going to put this translucent powder all over my face to set the foundation and concealer together and give me just a really nice matte natural finish. Now I'm taking my Dior Show Lash Maximizer which is one of my favorite products of all time. I cannot wear mascara without it. It adds so much length to my lashes in combination with my Dior Show mascara. After applying that, I'm going to let it dry and now I'm going to take my Hoola Benefit Bronzer, which is one of my favorites, and a plush Dior powder brush and I'm going to run that brush all inside the product, making sure to get a good amount on the brush. You can totally tell this is a favorite of mine because I'm almost out and I need to restock. So I love this brush because it's not dense, so it's just going to give me a really nice soft contour. I'm going to be following the hollows of my cheeks. If you don't know where your cheekbone is, use a brush and roll it over right by your ear line and you're going to feel where the hollow is. And then you're just going to want to buff it in from the hairline kind of to the end of your eye. And because it's such a loose brush, it kind of extends the product a little further, which is perfect. And that's exactly what I want without it being too harsh of a line. I'm also going to lightly buff it under the jawline to add a little definition. And don't forget to also buff it into the forehead as well, rimming the hairline. I'm not applying too much because I like the size of my forehead. If you want to minimize the size of your forehead, do add a little bit more bronzer. To add a little bit more depth and definition, I'm taking Kat Von D's shade Light Palette in Shadow Play and putting that right on the same fluffy Dior brush and we're going to apply that the same areas that we applied Hoola to when we first did the bronzing. This isn't necessary, it's up to your preference, but I choose to do it because I like a more defined contour. And then I'm also going to take the brush and squeeze it so it's a little bit more flat and I'm going to take shadow play and run that really lightly on my nose just to give it a very soft contour and add a little bit more definition to it. Nobody likes a messy or muddy contour so I'm taking my Dior Forever Compact in shade number 30 and I'm going to clean up and add a little bit more definition to this jawline and contour. You can see I'm taking it from my ear and hairline down to right in between my top and bottom lip. I also apply this on the forehead as well. Now on to my favorite part, highlighting. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit in sunburst and bubbly. And I'm applying that really lightly right on top of where I put 
hula and shadow play i'm also going to lightly apply this to the bridge of my nose as well as my cupid's bow and a little on the chin as well so now that I look like a little disco ball, I'm going to move on to mascara and I'm using my Dior Show New Look, which is my favorite for my bottom lashes. It's got this nice, small, precise brush with separations in the bristles that really coats all my bottom lashes. And in unison with my lash maximizer, this just makes my lashes look insanely long. So now I'm going to apply a little extra illuminator from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called So Hollywood. It's so gorgeous. I'm also taking my Mario Badescu facial spray, spritzing that all over, running the same Anastasia highlighting brush in the illuminator, and applying it in all the same areas that I applied the glow kit. This is absolutely not necessary if you don't like to be super highlighted, but I like to. And then I'm going to take a stippling brush and run it over all the areas that we contoured, highlighted, and carved out the jawline. Now that that's all done, let's go ahead and put on some lips. So I'm going to be using my favorite liquid lipsticks since they launched, my Kylie Cosmetic Lip Kits in Candy K and also in Coco K. If you guys would like to see me do a review on these lip kits, please let me know because I do have almost all of the colors of formula from when it first launched and the new formula so I can do a really good review for you guys. I have so much to say about these products. In my opinion, I think that they are amazing and blow all other liquid lipsticks out of the water so please let me know. And then I'm also going to be taking the same concealer brush that we used for the under eye highlight and I'm using that to go on the edges of my lips just to give it a more clean and defined look. And then I also wanted to swatch Coco K for you guys so you could see how beautiful this soft, subtle pink is if you haven't already seen a swatch of it. Here it is up close. It's absolutely gorgeous. And there you have it. This is the finished look to my casual contour and highlighting routine. I hope you guys loved it. Please thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon.